Delvin Fluid Power. Authentic. Driven. Passionate. That's the Delvin difference. Hi, my name is Jordan with Delvin Fluid Power, and today we're going to be changing out a pressure switch on a Delvin Fluid Power 5800 series pump. Your pressure switch is located on the top of your pump. Inside your pressure switch is a small diaphragm. Once your pressure in your pump reaches a preset limit, the diaphragm will expand and turn off power to your pump. Testing your pressure switch is a very simple process. The first thing you're going to want to make sure is that your pump is unplugged. Next, remove the rubber boot from the top of your pump. Once you have the rubber boot off, take off the two wire leads. Once the two wire leads are exposed, use another wire like this. Uh, we recommend that you use 14 gauge insulated wire. Connect the two together and plug your pump back in. If your pump turns on, there is a problem with your pressure switch. The only tools you're going to need for replacing your pressure switch is a Phillips head screwdriver and a 1 16 inch Allen key. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the rubber boot from the pressure switch and unclip the two connectors. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove the four screws from the top of your pressure switch. Once you've removed the pressure switch from the top of your pump, you're going to want to remove this rubber diaphragm. It usually comes out pretty easily if you give it a couple taps and just slide it out. Inside your replacement pressure switch package, you should have your pressure switch and a new diaphragm. You want to make sure when you have your pressure switch and it's all put together that it is clipped in place and you can hear the click. It's important for your pressure switch to click because that is what's going to turn on and off power to your pump next step is to put your rubber diaphragm back in the top of your pump and then we will, we will be screwing in the pressure switch back on. Once you've attached your pressure switch to the top of your pump using the four screws, remove this rubber o-ring which is acting as an elastic band. You will see inside your pressure switch there are three electrical terminals, one at the top, one at the middle, one at the bottom. You are going to want to use the top one and the bottom one. It doesn't matter which cord goes to which one. So we'll put those in there until they're nice and tight. And put the boot back on covering the terminals. The last thing you're going to want to do is to set the pressure of your pump. To do that, use your 1 16th inch Allen key. Put your Allen key in the set screw in the top of your pressure switch and turn it clockwise to increase pressure and counterclockwise to decrease pressure. You have now successfully installed your pressure switch on top of your Delvin Fluid Power Pump. You can find this video along with many other frequently asked questions at DelvinFluidPower.com.